Well, that was spooky. Painting ghouls and ghosts is secretly really easy when you put the War Paints Air Range to good use. Join Thomas in the studio. He's already pre-primed these ghoulish miniatures in matte black. He's applying some matte white from the Air Range. He's gonna go ahead and apply this in a top-down fashion, almost hybrid Zenithal fashion, leaving some of that matte black primer in the shadows. We're gonna grab some Unforgiven Green here. This is the base tone from the Angel Green Triad. It's a nice dark green, and he's gonna reinforce some of those shadows and shift it a little bit towards the green spectrum here by applying this in an upwards fashion, focusing this in the transitions between the black primer and the white paint. Go ahead and rinse out your reservoirs. Our airbrush cleaner is perfect for doing just that. One of the unsung heroes from our air range are the fluorescent paints. These paints feature extremely vibrant pigmentation mixed with our unique airbrush medium, which makes for super smooth coverage and really bright, vibrant, punchy colors on those miniatures. He's just gonna apply this. He's gonna focus this on the uppermost areas and then he's gonna go ahead and you see him right here. He's just gonna apply this all over the rest of the model. He's blending in those transitions between the white, the unforgiven green, and that matte black. And just like that, in those three simple steps, you're finished. Your ghouls, your ghosts are ready for the tabletop. This is just one more way where the Army Painter helps you get more time for gaming. So let's go ahead and repeat those steps, prime it in that matte black color primer. We're gonna do a Zenithal highlight in matte white, reinforce those shadows with Unforgiven Green, and then apply our fluorescent gauze green all over the entire miniature. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned for more from your friends at The Army Painter.